Hey guys, it's Izzy and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through all of the prosthetics I've had so far in my life. Now I have been around PT for nine and a bit years. In September it will be ten years. Um big party then. <laughs> so I am going to be going through them all. There is a lot and yeah. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing that I just want to make sure that you guys know is that I've always got my um, prosthetic arms and legs through the NHS. So in England, we do have the NHS. Um, I think it's just, it might just be when you're a child or it might be throughout your entire life, but you're allowed two pairs of prosthetics at one time. I think I have three at the moment though, actually. Um, so yeah, you're allowed two, um, like minimum. Um, at one time however obviously when I first became an amputee I was like seven so I was going quite quickly so I would have more than one prosthetic in a year some prosthetics I have the sockets done the same so I'm not going through every prosthetic I've ever had I'm just going through like really significant ones and ones that are obviously different so I've got a list on my phone and I also um, got a, a bunch of pictures from my prosthet prosthetist um, who's called Lindsay, so if I'm going to know about Lindsay throughout the video, that is who she is. Uh, but yeah, every time I've got new prosthetics, especially when I was younger, she'd take pictures of them. So I got her to send me all the pictures, so I'll be able to put them um, here throughout the video as well. So you guys are lucky because there is um, a lot. And yeah, so this all started in 2010, going into 2011 is probably when I first got my prosthetics, probably more 2011, um, yeah, so like nine years ago. So the first pair of prosthetic, prosthetics I got was a pair of arms. Now if you can see me now, I, I don't wear them anymore. So these were not very successful at all. Um, I really hated them. But yeah, I got given these arms. They, um, I think these ones were just static actually at first. First they were static and then I had ones that opened and closed. But I don't think we've now pitched them because I hated them all. Um, but yeah, having arms at first was really useful um, because I hadn't really worked out how to use my resi residual limbs like I do now. Now I just kind of use them as if they're like hands, for instance, holding my phone. But at the time I didn't, so it was quite useful to have arms. And I think because my arms were less like, there's less scar tissue and like damage on my arms. Um, from the amputations and the meningitis. So yeah, for quite a while my legs were in bandages and obviously to be able to weight bear is quite difficult um, on something that's really sore. So I did have to wait for quite a while to be able to wear prosthetic, which I believe is why um, I didn't get my prosthetic legs until 2011, which is the year after I, or the year after that I got meningitis. So the first pair of legs I got were what I call stubbies. Um, I think they're kind of just a thing that everyone has a different name for. So basically, um, they're like a socket, but they have no length on them whatsoever. So you'll be able to see from the pictures that I'll put in. So they are basically just like a, like kind of a shoe, but for your leg. So they add quite a lot of protection. Um, I had ones with grippy bottoms on at one point. So I would basically, how I used to wear these, well, at first, I basically wore them all the time as prosthetic legs, um, and then as I started to grow up, I used to just wear them um, kind of as slippers in the morning before I put my proper long legs on. Um, so I did find stubbies really, really useful. Um, it was frustrating because I didn't like go to school or anything in them because obviously when you're still that short, like it's like me walking on my knees. So when you're still that short, you are quite like vulnerable. But um, yeah, I had these little stubbies and these I have had for quite a while so they definitely were a success a success oh my gosh okay so the whole experience of me being in hospital revolved something to do with Hello Kitty happened all times so when I first got admitted they had to cut my Hello Kitty pajamas off me and they were like my favorite pajamas ever so it was really heartbreaking then when I first got my motorised wheelchair, it had all Hello Kitty stickers all over it. So it was only right when I got my first pair of blades that they had Hello Kitty on them. So I had fluorescent bright pink sockets. Um, that's the bit that goes around your leg, that's the socket. 
And then they had a humongous picture of Hello Kitty on the front and then a little one on the back as well. And these were freaking cute. I absolutely love them. And also another thing to note is when, with my old blades before I went onto the um, Mini Blade XTs, which are the pink ones, um, I used to have to buy trainers and then they'd cut off the back of the trainers and just stick the front on. So that's why it looks like I have many like feet on the blades. This was basically just for um, stability, a balance and all kind of things like that. Um, and grip so yeah that's the little trainers and these Hello Kitty legs still hold such a piece of my heart I remember how happy I was to be able to walk again and I know everyone's like oh so many things in the world bring happiness but I don't think anybody who hasn't experienced not being able to walk and then being able to walk again will ever understand that smile in the photos that are on the screen right now that is a pure genuine smile of someone who thought they'd never be able to walk again and there they are in prosthetics so them hello kitty legs are always like so special to me okay so 2012 was definitely the year of boy bands now um i always say this if you love something do not get it on your body that's in the form of a tattoo or a boy band printed onto your legs I did it twice, both times I lived to regret it, um, so yeah, after 2012 I learnt from my mistakes of getting boy bands on my legs. So, the first boy band I got on my legs was The Wanted, now I can't remember if you know The Wanted, um, Alexa, play a song by The Wanted. The sun goes down, the stars come out, and all that comes is here. So that is The Wanted, if you've never heard of them before. Um, at the time, I was actually obsessed with them. Uh, they were my favourite boy band. I never saw them in concert. We looked at doing it, but it would have been a bit of a nightmare uh, because I was still not very stable um, walking and stuff. So I never went and saw them in concert, but I was such a big fan of them. Um, loved all their songs. So I decided to one of all my friends with being a super fan and get it printed on my legs. I think this was still pink. Uh, so I had pink on the front. No, pink sockets with then pictures of the wanted on. Now, I do have a photo that Lindsay took of these legs. However, I do have a photo that I found of these legs. So I'll definitely put them on the screen. But sorry, it's not as good quality. So yeah, these legs were my the wanted legs. As you can see in one of the photos, I have a One Direction top on. The wanted and One Direction were sort of... Not really enemies because One Direction were much bigger, but it was a bit controversial. But this is when I had the wanted on my legs and started to become a One Direction super fan. Which leads on to my next pair of legs. So my first knee joint moving legs um, had One Direction on them. <laughs> and this is still something that I don't regret. Um, I kind of did at the time, but not really. Um, I just understood that it was a bit, it was, it wasn't ideal to have them on my legs, but I still don't regret this decision at all, um, because I still to this day am absolute One Direction super fan, um, <laughs> and I love all of them, or mm, some of them individually. So, uh, yeah, I had my first pair of knee joint legs, and this was really exciting for, well, it started off being really exciting, but then I realised I hate knee joint legs, apart from now, walking on sea legs, so we change we evolve. <laughs> so yeah, these are my first pair of knee joint legs. Can't possibly tell you what type of knees they were. Just some little ones that you can kind of have as a child. And these were pink with all five members of One Direction on them. And oh my god, this was amazing. I was so happy to have One Direction on my legs. And if you don't know who One Direction are, Alexa, play a song from One Direction. You're insecure. That is One Direction, if you don't know who One Direction are, and like I say, to the to this day, even though they're not together as a boy band anymore, um, I don't regret this decision. Um, if you don't know, in April I'm going to see Harry Styles live, which I'm really excited about because I never got to see One Direction live together. Um, I don't really know why, I just kind of didn't um, ever. Um, I, the only member of One Direction that I have seen other than that is Liam. And it was kind of a heartbreaking experience. 
So me and Liam did the same event together. Um, we were both on the lineup, so we were both like behind the scenes together. And me being a little fangirl was really excited because what better? You know, having a boy band on your legs is one thing, but being able to actually tell them that you've had their faces on your legs. Like, I wanted to, I was like, oh, this is my chance. Um, but Liam was rude and ignored me, and, well, he just refused to speak to me. So, um, yeah, that was fun. Gone off him, not a big fan of him. Harry, however, love Harry. Harry was always my favourite anyway, um, so bye Liam. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to see Harry in April. I've not got VIP tickets or anything, so I'm just seeing him at a concert. But I'm so, so, so excited. I feel like I'm living out my One Direction, like, dreams. Like, literally so many years later, like probably like eight years later, to finally be able to see them. So yeah, that is something I'm dead excited about. To be able to be like, oh my god, I saw this person and he was on my leg. Okay, and then I think I got another pair of blades that year as well. Or it might have been in 2013. This is when all of my all of my knowledge starts to get a bit like broken. So um I have a picture of these legs. I think uh, they were maybe probably 2012 to 2013. And they are purple with silver love hearts and stars on it. Now this was probably the most difficult um, design I ever got Lindsay to do. Um, I was like, help, let me have this on my legs. So I went in there, I was like, I want this purple and I want this silver and this. So I got uh, to cut out hearts and stars so I could have them all over my sockets. Um, I know, I'm such a demanding child. Like, think about it now, Jesus. There is a book that you can pick designs out of, but growing up I was like, no. I don't want the book. I want, and then would pick whatever. So anyway, these were purple, and they had pink hearts and stars. Um, these were really good, apart from eventually the hearts and stars started like coming off through the seal. So that's quite annoying in the end. But yeah, it did look so sick. I actually think these were really, really good. Um, and yeah, I really liked these. I think they were a nice change from the boy band because they weren't super subjective. When you have like a boy band on your legs every two minutes, everyone's like, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? And it's quite annoying. So just having something plain and, well, not simple, but like pretty like if everyone loves stars and hearts and purple and silver. So yeah, that was definitely my most creative pair of legs. And I'm sorry, Lindsay, for making you do that. It's quite hard. <laughs> but yeah, that was my blade. In t about 2013, I got my first pair of water legs. Now this is what they look like. These look weird. I know they're like the most human looking out of all of the legs that I've ever worn. And um, I still think they just look weird. It looks too normal. <laughs> So yeah, these are waterproof legs. Now these, um, people wear them for the shower. I don't wear them for the shower. I just kind of like sit in the shower. But um, I find them really useful for when I'm on holiday, in the swimming pool, by a swimming pool, when my brothers drag me around a theme park. These are always really useful to have and to wear. And yeah, they basically just mean that I know that I'm safe and stable in a pool at all times as I can reach the floor. So it saves my energy a lot. Then I probably got some other ones before I started secondary school, but I can't remember. So, then I started secondary school on my pink blades. So I think I had these for about a year, maybe a year and a bit. And so these are all the pictures of my pink blades. These are what I started my YouTube channel wearing, and I absolutely loved these. However, I only had them for, like, like I say, a year and a half, and then I had silver sockets for like probably like a few probably like a year I had silver sockets and I wasn't a fan of the silver sockets um I don't know why they weren't pink but then I moaned and was like I want pink sockets again so I got back my pink and black swirly sockets so these are them as you guys may or may not know um I was using the mini bleed XTs I think I was one of the first kids to be using them on through the NHS and maybe even in general. Uh, I did their entire um, female version of their advertising campaign, which meant that I was allowed to, to well influence the design that was put on them. So that is super exciting, and I obviously got to be a part of the advertisement, which was literally insane. And I still go to my mobility centre at the hospital and there were pictures of me on the wall from advertising them legs so that was 
pretty cool. So my final legs in this prosthetic story are my sea legs. Now I'm not going to go over these too much because um, I've done loads of videos on these. This is what they look like um, and these are the legs that I currently wear. I finally got rid of my blades after years of everyone suggesting it and I got sea legs. If you don't know, if you if you do not know, these are microprocessor knees, so they are basically like really intelligent legs, like brainier than me, which is saying something. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, these are really intelligent legs, um, and yeah, these are again through the NHS, and yeah, I'm really happy with them. So, guys, this is me. Uh, explaining my entire prosthetics journey, everything I've had, and all through the NHS. Um, I was thinking of making another video at some point about like what the NHS have done for me, but I really, personally, I know it's different for different people, I've had such a really positive experience through the NHS of getting prosthetics, and Lindsay, shout out to her, she's incredible, she helps me envision everything I want, and um, does everything in the best interest for me which is incredible so yeah I hope you guys all enjoyed this video I have wanted to do this for ages but I wanted to collate the photos as well to make it make a little bit more sense to you guys so you can envision what I had on my legs and um, yeah if you did enjoy this video make sure to like and comment and subscribe let me know which your favorite legs are and I'll see you guys all in next week's video bye